heard a Shakespeare call for a song, I said, ah, oh, that probably is Marvin Gaye. Oh, that probably is Mahalia Jackson. Wow. And you just, so you just put those little general touches in there and it, and it seems authentic to the audience. For spacious yes. skies, uh -huh. for amber yeah. waves uh -huh. of grain. Mm -hmm. What's going hey. on? For purple What's mountains, mad. Our version of Much Ado About Nothing takes place in 2020. Since we don't know what's going to happen in the future, we don't know what's going to happen in the play. <laughs> Coming back from a war of ideals and just, you know, fighting for what we believe in. And I think that's something that a lot of people, you know, now in our nation are using their ideas and getting them out, whether through social media or through protests. So we bring some of that into our show as well. I wonder that you will still be talking, Senor Benedict. Nobody marks you. What didn't just look contemporary, it sounded really contemporary, even though Shakespeare's words weren't altered. Because we had these amazingly talented actors who were embodying Shakespeare in their own bodies, but also speaking in their own accents. And I would, I could find in my hort that I had not a hort hort, for truly I love none. A dear happiness to women! They weren't using any received accent, they weren't speaking in a fake British accent, and instead Shakespeare sounded very differently, very relevant, very fresh. For the which blessing I am at him upon my knees every morning and evening. Lord, I could Uncle not... and cousin and husband. Those made the lines sound so new and so beautiful and brought out new meanings that I think were always there, but until you hear it in a different voice, in a different accent, you can't always tap into that meaning. And Benedict Love on! Oh! Quite thee, taming my wild heart to thy loving hand. Swirl that thing around. 